Aside from its seemingly endless inherent pressures, being heir to the Grayson throne definitely has its privileges. Welcome home, Daniel. Hi, Mom. Not the least of which being epic summers in the Hamptons. Just as I felt the record begin to skip, there she was, as if hand-delivered by fate. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I'm Daniel. Emily. I'd never met anyone like Emily Thorne. She was magnetic. I gotta admit, it's, it's nice meeting someone who never knew the old me. Yeah, I know the feeling. Emily was exactly what I needed. A beautiful, independent woman who didn't care about my last name or my past. I hope my mother wasn't too hard on me the end of the day. I don't scare too easily. Does she interrogate all of your dates? Yeah. But she certainly wasn't without her own surprises. Don't shoot full of surprises. I learn something new about you every day. I fell hard in a matter of weeks. I couldn't help it. Emily was perfect. Not everyone in my life shared the sentiment. The only thing we know for sure is that you're a bad judge of women. My mother never approved of any of the girls I've dated, and Emily Thorne was no exception. Victoria, it's Frank. I found an anomaly in Emily Thorne's public record. I want you to start following her. My best friends seem to be constantly butting heads with her. Why would anybody want to hide their money in the Bahamas? No matter the obstacle, Tyler Buddy put the gun down. Shut up, Danny! The connection I had found with Emily only seemed to strengthen. She was the one. I was sure of it. Emily Thorne! Will you marry me? Just when everything seemed perfect, the perfect storm was closing in. Why do you want to marry me, Emily? Because I love you. Then come away with me. Where is this coming from? Did, did your mother say something? She's not worth it. Tyler had gone from friend to foe. He was unstable, playing on my fears about Emily, threatening my family. I couldn't help myself. Instinct took over. Daniel Grayson, you're under arrest for the murder of Tyler Barrow. Daniel's fingerprints are found on Emily's gun. In a political climate like this, the DA goes first degree murder. My mother devoted all of herself to saving me. And with my father's combined efforts, they succeeded. But even though my name was cleared of the charges, the norm was far from restored. Did you also know that your mother paid someone to arrange that beating? Lee Moran. Your boy get the message? I asked for an assault, not a rampage. Holy my father confessed. Another man's life was waged for my freedom. Lee Moran was far from an innocent victim, but did that excuse my father's extreme recourse? Did the end justify the means? I needed answers. I promise one thing, that when they finally come to get me, that you will do whatever you can to rebuild the company and take care of your little sister. I promise. Would you close the doors? The truth I learned that night rocked me to the core. The secrets, the deception, the lengths that he went to protect the Grayson name. Bill Harmon took the stand with searing testimony against his longtime friend and colleague, David Clark. I was faced with a choice. Follow through with my original plan to wipe the slate clean, righteous path of my mother or continue burying the family's secrets and join my father's struggle to retain our position on top. My father is the victim of a witch hunt. My father, who I stand behind as a son and beside as a partner in business as I prepare for my role at Grayson Global. As much as I wanted to distance myself from the Grayson name, after everything that had happened, I couldn't deny my birthright. It had saved my life. I owed my heritage, my allegiance. That allegiance turned son against mother. I don't know what lies he told you, but you would do well to remember that there are three sides to every story. And which one did you sell to the feds? You go through with destroying dad, and you're dead to me. This is the evidence I was planning on turning over. Mom buckled. She gave me the evidence. It's right here in my briefcase. Good work, son. I had finally found my footing on stable ground, when suddenly it was ripped out from beneath me. 
Ash, if there's something I should know, you gotta tell me. Like, it's not just about him, it's also about Emily, so you, you really need to be asking her. Did you kiss him? I'm sorry. Bye, Emily. My worst fear had come true. I lost Emily. Had my decision to embrace the grace and name spoiled the one pure part of my life? Had siding with my father inadvertently forced me to suffer a similar loveless fate? Good to know you've got my back. Always have. Cheers. Or perhaps was a new beginning standing right in front of me. Cheers.